Hello everyone, Jason Warren for DTMet, and today we'll be discussing a major weather system that's moving onto the west coast that's forecast to bring heavy amounts of rain and high mountain snow to portions of the Pacific Northwest down into California, and another weather system over the central U.S., the upper Midwest region, that's expected to bring snow to portions of the Great Lakes and Ohio Valley and even into the Mid-Atlantic area as we head through late this week. We'll start with the system on the west coast where we're already seeing bands of rain moving on shore across portions of northern and central California up into Oregon and Washington as well. And this is going to increase as a large atmospheric river event sets up across portions of the region. On the satellite view across the region we see one strong area of low pressure off the Oregon and Washington coast and another one well out over the Pacific. And these two are combining to bring in tremendous amounts of moisture from the southwest aimed right at the uh, west coast especially into California and this means that we'll see uh, heavy rainfall across areas that have seen heavy rain already this year. This strong southwesterly flow is also going to bring in milder air and very high snow levels so areas that have already seen heavy amounts of snow this time will see rainfall. The combination of the heavy rainfall and rapidly melting snow will create conditions conducive for flooding across much of central and northern California up into portions of Washington and Oregon. There will be some very heavy high mountain snows, especially above 7,000 feet, where some locations could see 3 to 6 feet of additional snowfall. And this is especially true in the Sierra Nevada mountains. And this will be falling onto a snowpack that is relatively dry. And this heavy wet snow on top of the dry powdery snow that's on the ground will create very unstable snowpack conditions and create an environment where large avalanches could occur. If we take a look at the flash flood outlook for today and the excessive rainfall outlook from the Weather Prediction Center, there is a moderate risk for flash flooding in the foothills of the Sierras up into portions of the Central Valley and then down along the central coast of California with a slight risk surrounding this all the way up into portions of the Sierra Nevada mountains and into far western Nevada. This matches up well with the precipitation outlook showing several inches of rain in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountains and also along the central California coast extending up into portions of northwestern California. Again, this is going to be a much warmer system than the systems that have been seen uh, recently across the west. So snow levels are expected to be higher, around, between seven and 8,000 feet. But uh, above those levels, very heavy snowfall of three to six feet, possibly even higher amounts, are expected in the Sierra Nevada mountains, especially from Lake Tahoe, south toward the Mammoth Lakes area, and even further south to just west of Bishop. And again, this is going to create a very unstable snowpack with a significant avalanche risk. Snowfall amounts in the mountains of the northwest will not be as extreme as those in the Sierra Nevada mountains. However, the Cascades in the northern Rockies could see two to perhaps as much as four feet of snow. Shifting gears now to the system in the eastern U.S., uh, we have ongoing snow across portions of the upper Midwest, moving into the western Great Lakes now and a couple of stronger storms that are possible across portions of the Southern Plains and uh, lower Mississippi Valley for this afternoon. The severe weather threat is rather low today with only a marginal risk across portions of Texas into the lower Mississippi Valley and then a small area across portions of Mississippi and Alabama. Any storms that do get going are expected to be isolated with some damaging winds and possibly some large hail. On the winter side of things, we're going to take a look at this on the high resolution model, which shows the snow across the upper Midwest this afternoon. And this will spread eastward into the Great Lakes this afternoon and into this evening, with snow breaking out in the Chicago area, spreading into portions of northern Indiana, northwestern Ohio, and Michigan by midnight. Some of this snow could fall rather heavily, especially just north of the rain snow line across portions of northern Illinois, northern Indiana, and into northwestern Ohio. This is the area where the snow will probably be the heaviest this evening. The snow is then expected to continue eastward overnight, spreading across northern Ohio and into northwestern Pennsylvania. There will be a bit of warmer air that tries to nose up uh, across portions of the Ohio Valley, and this could uh, create an area where some rain mixes in or changes over to rain, uh, especially around the Pittsburgh area down to Wheeling and Morgantown. 
Uh, but areas further north are a little more questionable, places like Youngstown up to Erie. These areas may stay all snow, and it could come down at a pretty good clip as the storm moves through. Further east, it looks like snow across central Pennsylvania down into portions of the mid-Atlantic where some cold air gets dammed up against the mountains, especially on the east side. And some snow could fall in the northern and western suburbs of Baltimore and Washington uh, by sunrise tomorrow morning. The system will then continue eastward with rain and snow continuing around the Baltimore and Washington areas with snow to the north and west and snow continuing back into portions of the eastern Great Lakes and upper Ohio Valley. As the storm makes its way to the east coast later Friday night and into early Saturday, it may intensify a bit and this could create an area of heavy snow right along the coast uh, around the New York City area, back into portions of eastern Pennsylvania and up into Connecticut and northern New Jersey. This is something we'll have to keep an eye on. At this time though the storm is forecast to head out to sea in this direction or this direction rather than turning up the coast and becoming a major problem for places like Boston, Portland, or Bangor. This will be a fairly heavy wet snow, so higher elevations may be favored to see the higher um, accumulations of snow, including across portions of western New York and northwestern Pennsylvania. But there also could be several inches of snow back through portions of southern Wisconsin and into Michigan, depending on how heavily the snow can fall. Across the eastern portions of this area, this will be highly elevation dependent with some of the ridges seeing several inches of snow, but the lower elevations seeing just a coating. But there could be some light accumulations even in the northern and western suburbs of Baltimore and Washington. Further east around the New York City area is where we have a big question mark, because it all depends on what the system does once it reaches the coast. If the system can intensify, then we could see some higher accumulations around the New York City area, stretching back into northern New Jersey, uh, southeastern New York, over into Connecticut, and possibly eastern Pennsylvania. And that's something we will be keeping a close eye on. The pattern across the lower 48 is expected to remain active as we head into next week. The system uh, across the uh, east coast this weekend is expected to depart off to the east, but another system will already be developing across the upper Midwest on Saturday, and this system is expected to take a similar track, bringing snow to portions of the lower Great Lakes in the Ohio Valley and possibly into the Mid-Atlantic area by early next week. So be sure to stay tuned as this active pattern continues.